All right, the purpose of this video is to show how to adjust the, the height of the machine. The tools that we'll need is a 3 32nd Allen wrench and a 7 16 wrench. Currently, this machine is set at about its lowest setting, which is approximately 3 inches. Okay, the first step in raising this up is to remove this funnel and remove the spinner plate underneath of it. So to remove the funnel, you loosen these three set screws with the 332nd Allen wrench. Take this funnel out, remove that bolt, hold the auger handle so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't turn on you, remove that bolt, and remove the spinner plate. Now this will allow this to open up. So at this time, we set the machine up, we'll loosen these two bolts right here and raise the whole lid up. Remove the lid. Loosen that bolt. Loosen that bolt. All right, now with those bolts loosened about an eighth of an inch, then you can come in here and you can raise the whole thing up. Holding it in place, just snugging this top bolt down. Just now, all you're trying to do here is just to hold this up out of the way until you get the bottom adjusted where you want it. Now, at this time, we need to, to allow for the height adjustment. We need this funnel to be back in there just temporarily. So now we've got a height adjustment. Set, set a few more of these set screws in place. Okay. Now, if you need your height at five inches, then we want to raise this up about two inches. Loosen these two bottom bolts here for this bracket support on the bottom. Loosen the bottom one, loosen the top one by an eighth of an inch, and then we can raise this up and put it wherever we want it. Now if we want it, it would normally set your bottle underneath there and you would show where you need it. Right now I want to raise it up a couple inches. I got it about five inches. Tighten this bottom down. Tighten this one. All right. Now that the bottom is tight. Okay, now that the bottom is tight, now I can loosen this one bolt on the top again and set this back down on top. Lining the auger up. Everything just lines right up here. Set this down on top, tighten this back up. Tighten this one up. Okay, now that we've got the bottom and top tight again, we need to put this spinner plate back on, provided that we have free-flowing products such as sugar. If you have a, a product similar to flour that is non-free-flowing, you're ready to go. But we need to put this spinner plate back in there for non-free-flowing product. 
So to put that spinner plate back in place, turn the handle so it's clockwise so it tightens up. Slightly snug that down. Tighten your set screws back up. There you go, now you're ready to go.